going, girls? you guys she is home this is probably not where she's gonna stay because it's really kind of in the way of our dining room but I wanted to show you guys the stand it's actually smaller than I expected which is nice because space is quite um, limited in our house this is definitely not perfect which is fine with me because it's vintage Open her up and open up this right here. I'm doing this tripod list, so just bear with me. And look at it, she's in there. So we lift this up. And then it's gonna be hard to do one handed, but we'll try. Oh, hold on one second. I, um, Oh, my spool is a little too much um, for it. So hold on one second. I need to go retrieve the um, the spool holder. All right, so we got it back now. <laughs> so we're gonna put this piece down. There you go. And she lays right back down in there. Ooh, you can tell I'm on uneven ground over here. Um, she's a little spot right here. goes in there somehow. She doesn't want to sit in there. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I was trying to put it in the wrong hole. <laughs> but I got it on there. It has a little felt piece on there. Probably make it smoothie, smoother run. Um, I put my Gutterman thread on there. So, I mean, this thread is too tall for when I fold it up into, put her down in there. But, yep, there we go. And she's got the cool crackle or Godzilla finish on her. Here's her plate that says that she's a a true singer sewing machine. And there's her information panel. You can put that into a certain um, website and it'll tell you when she was born and everything, which I know because the one I bought, the lady I bought it from, Looked it up. I just don't remember off the bat. I just know it's a 1941. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at all that detail. For a sewing machine. That's so cool. It took me a little while. I had to really truly read the, inform um, the instruction book on how to um, thread it. Because, well, obviously, it's a little different. It's got all of these little weird loop de doos and all the way up to the front and back down. She threads through the needle. Can you see how it threads through the needle? Threads going right through that way instead of forward to back. It's kind of cool. This one has the reverse on her. I haven't tried it yet. I'm still just starting to mess with it. Um, Kit's coming back downstairs. It's a little tight, which is fine. On the table, without a lid. This button right here, whoop, right there, pops the um, bobbin out. See that? You see how it pops out? So you don't have to fight to get it up. But we don't want it out right now, so we're just gonna leave her back in there. Um, there's the foot that it came with on it. Yeah. And then it 
came with all kinds of feet. I read in the manual for what some of them are. Uh, these, these things are such weird contraptions. So we'll figure out what these are and play around with them and there's some extra bobbins. I'm gonna get these all nice and spin, um, fill. I'll have to learn how to use my bobbin spinner. Oh, this one right here, I watched a video that's a hem, a rolled hem foot. It's really cool looking. I mean, it's so exciting. I didn't know that they had so many attachments for a machine this old. This one is a fine a binding foot right here. Hi, Abby. What yeah, you he's in like he's in sleeping. That's all right. Okay. And there's this one. So we got quite a bit of cool, I mean, these bobbins. So I got six bobbins, which is plenty for a sewing machine for me. But this is exciting, you guys. And also, I forgot to show. It does have a bobbin winder. They had a bobbin winder. You put your bobbin up here, and you loop your thread through this, and probably up here a little bit into this. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I know that something to do with the inside wheel mechanism will change it to be a bobbin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I have not seen the kitty. But there we go, you guys. I promise I will be back very soon with either a live or a video of some sort running this. It runs very smooth. Oh yeah, I gotta show you the light real fast if I can get back there without having to. Oh, it's got, it's got a glass, it's a glass um, lens on that. I haven't really tinkered with that yet, but hopefully soon I can um, figure out if I can put an LED light in there to make it brighter. But there you guys go. That is my new toy, my new machine, new to me. And Lily has named her Sozilla because the finish that's on her is known as a crackle finish or Godzilla finish. So she has named her Sozilla. All right, you guys, thank you for watching and please hit that subscribe button and the like button if you wanna watch and see how this thing runs. Talk to you later, keep on crafting, bye.